Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So, I'm calling this video Return of the Sketch Cover. Maybe it's the Revenge of the Sketch Cover. Um, the piece that I posted a few videos back uh, where it had this girl perched on top of this other guy holding a weapon. Well, I shipped it to the, the guy who commissioned it to me, and he liked the artwork. However, I didn't pack it properly. It got kind of bent up and banged up. And I felt really bad about it because he was going to get the, uh, the comic CG seed. So I offered to replace it for him. Went out, got a new sketch cover. It's that uh, Avengers book that's sitting to the left there. And right here I'm thumbnailing. And the reason why I'm thumbnailing is because I'm changing the composition a little bit. Since I was going to redo, redo the piece anyway, he mentioned that the, um, he, the angle that I ended up doing was not quite what he really wanted. And, you know, I'm open to criticism. And, you know, if a person's paying for a piece of art, I want to do my best to give them something they're genuinely happy with. Now, in this angle, it's extreme foreshortening because we are looking down like a, a bird's eye view on top, looking at a woman who is, you know, perched over a guy. And she's holding a weapon kind of pointed at herself that she used to kind of like draw blood from him, kind of a, a blood ritual thing. And originally when I did the, the first version, I had her leaning back more. So it was kind of an unrealistic, awkward position. But I was trying to do it so you could actually see what she was doing with her torso in terms of her taking the blood from the, the guy that she wounded and kind of now cutting herself. But... The, the guy who commissioned it really preferred um, a pose where it, wasn't a, where it was more accurately an overview top with her just kind of looking back. So instead of exaggerating and having her leaning back more, I, it was tough to figure out how to get it so you really are looking over her, you know, looking down on her, seeing her face, seeing her body, and her holding the weapon. So I did a bunch of sketches over there on the left. Um, I mean, not like a metric tongue, so I did just one page's worth. Sometimes I'll do a, a piece and I'll do like two or three pages worth of sketches before I get the pose right. The fact that I, you know, had done some sketches before on this and I'm redoing it kind of helped me go in there faster because it really was, all right, let me just get used to drawing the rib cage at this extreme foreshortened angle. I also forgot how much to have her, her breasts protrude. Because it is kind of an awkward angle, and I didn't want it to look cartoonish. I wanted her to look realistic and, um, you know, attractive, but not like outlandish cartoony boobs pointing out. And eventually I got to the point, as you can see here, now I'm penciling it. I tried drawing the figure first, the, the woman on top, and then drawing the guy underneath. And eventually I had to erase and start with the guy underneath. And that's part of the whole idea of drawing through the figure, where you're working... Almost like you're you're drawing with a like you have X-ray vision and you're doing the things that are behind what is in the foreground first. Um, you know, I started trying to work from the foreground to the back and it just what things weren't lining up. And I really needed to make sure that the guy there'd be enough room for him there, um, that the pose would work. Um, I like the idea of having he's he's tied up, so having his arms on either side of the logo and having the ropes go into them. You know, that was something where I had to sit down and really work with him and get... I didn't even necessarily need to do his legs. And his legs do end up appearing in the final piece. You'll see as I, I post a few other videos, I've got this one broken up into chunks. But at the time, it was really getting his upper torso into a place where it felt... Like it was conveying the story that I wanted. This guy who was being seduced against his will, um, tied up, tortured. This woman is taking his, his life essence and his energy... And now, you know, I've got the cover upside down because as fun of an exercise as it is to draw a figure upside down, I really wanted to, you know, work on getting her face closer to the, uh, the reference that, um, that I was given, getting the expression in the moment, having her have this sort of dark intensity, like she's angry, a little bit evil, but also kind of into it and enjoying herself. So this was a tough piece, but I tried to go the extra mile in terms of coming back and redoing it. I wanted it to definitely be a step above and a notch above what I did the first time. And I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming along. I'm pretty happy with the way the whole thing came out, and you'll see that uh, as I post more videos on it. Anyway, that's it for now. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com. Sign up for my mailing list. Uh, you'll get a weekly newsletter with sketches from my blog. See all the stuff I'm working on. Anyway, that's it for now. Go be creative.